Good morning. Welcome back. Morning. Welcome. Happy Monday. You said first Monday, Renee? First, first, first Monday. First Monday of a series of five Mondays? Yes. The first of five. And it's Great. a rainy, stormy Monday, so it's the most Monday-y Monday ever. Yes. And, and everybody views this on Tuesday, so it'll still be Monday. On it Tuesday. Is. It'll be second to second Monday when they see second, it. Second Monday on Tuesday. Yes. So hopefully second Monday is better than first Monday. <laughs> so we've been talking about a lot of things, routines, communication, talking about stress at home, which brings us to we're, we're all working from home, and one of the big things that we do which is why we're wearing blue today is Child Awareness, Child Abuse Awareness Prevention Month, right? Child Abuse Prevention Month, which yep. is the color blue. Color blue. Last week we wore purple. A lot of colors each month. Yeah. 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 But it's all for the. Um, it's for our. What do we like to call them? Our littlest warriors. So. There you go. That's a good name for them. Yep. So we're going to talk about Talia's a lot today which we go out, all four of us go out to all the troops and we, we train them on Talia's Law. Who knows what Talia's Law is? We should all be raising our hands. <laughs> so who, who wants to talk about Talia's Law? Um, so Talia's Law is obviously a law, was uh, published by Congress in 2005 when a military child named Talia was stationed in Hawaii. Um, in 2005, she was murdered by her active duty dad and her stepmom. Um, so many friends, neighbors of Talia's family in Hawaii noticed bruises on her, uh, noticed marks and burns on her, and they did report their, uh, their concerns to the MPs, but unfortunately, no one reported to, the, to CPS, to Child Protective Services. So kind of Talia's case fell in the crack due to lack of reporting um, until it was too late she was uh, killed so after that um, congress mandated all green suitors regardless of rank or brand to report and dod civilians to report um, child abuse suspected or known child abuse to the mps then to cps so so it covers a, a whole wide range of of child abuse um one that they, nobody's going out right now so they like to say if you see something say something um kind of hard to see something in in the homes but you know the child matrix the supervision matrix is still in effect um who who has seen that mm -hmm. oh absolutely and for drum has it i think it's kind of maybe a little bit there is some differences between each uh, supervision policy, but it's a great tool. I feel all families should have it, not just for being a mandated reporter, but for being parents and knowing the best what to do to uh, supervise their kids or to protect their kids. And we yep. have that posted on the uh, Family Advocacy website and, yep. uh, or the Facebook page. The Facebook page is our cover photo right up there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. So, so really, if you see something, say something. Um, it, it helps. It helps everybody in the community. It helps the kids, like Renee said, our littlest warriors. Yeah, it is everyone's job to prevent child abuse. A mandated reporter or not mandated reporter. Um, I think it's everyone's job. We have a responsibility to protect those kids, regardless. So we need to do what we need to do to make sure they're safe. Right. Yep. Yep. Even in these critical times. Even more, even, excuse me, even more so in these times because frustrations are really high and people aren't having the opportunity to, to really step away. There isn't places to go. Even the parks, they're saying the parks are closed, so keep your kids <clears> out of the park. The tensions are extremely high in homes and on post in particular, the homes are close enough together that it doesn't even have to be see something you might be able to hear your neighbors. So if you hear something that sounds concerning, um, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and make a phone call. I would much rather, as an individual, I know I would much rather be wrong and you know suspect something and find out that I was in the wrong and there isn't anything. Maybe they were just having a, you know, a game of hide and seek in the house and it just got a little ruckus, that's fine. <laughs> but I would much rather protect somebody and make that phone call and be wrong. 
Which is a good point, Renee. <clears throat> People can reach out to the MPs off post, reach out to the village uh, police department or Watertown police department, New York state police or Jefferson and Lewis County Sheriff's departments. Yeah, health and welfare checks are, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with those if people need to come to a health and welfare check. So if you think that there's something going on, just pick up the phone and call. That's all, you know, that's all we ask. If you're a soldier, you're required to do it. But for the rest of us, you know, maybe just civilians or spouses on posts or in the neighborhoods, just do something. It's much better to be wrong than have something go wrong and then you can't go back and fix it. Better safe than sorry. Yep. Yep. So, so not a topic but important absolutely so wear your blue put a blue pinwheel out on your lawn in your in your window and we challenge you to paint your window washable paint with blue absolutely yep or chalk up the driveway do something yep show your so, support absolutely so we will see you Next time on the screen. On the next screen. <laughs> on your screen. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.